Hi guys, welcome to the channel. In quite a lot of our recent videos, people have asked us about the stove that we've been cooking on, which is the Bushbox XL Titanium. This is from the German company Bushcraft Essentials. And because so many people have asked us about it, we thought we'd put together a video. We're gonna to cycle to the woods, we're gonna set up a fire, we're gonna cook a nice meal, and tell you all about our experiences from the last six months, because this has turned into probably our favorite bit of kit. Cool, let's go. So Bushcraft Essential sent this to us, so thank you very much to them. We were looking for a stove where we could use uh, uh, fuel, where we could use wood and solids, and then we could also use gas. Uh, I think just when we're, we're planning for a really long distance international trip, and there's loads of times where you can find one f fuel source, but you can't find another one. And with this, it means that you can just cover all bases. So I'll show you from here comes in a nice little uh, carry case and opens up here we've got so this is the grate it comes with uh, we've never actually used it but keep it just in case <laughs> we've also got a um, a small windshield that we've made ourselves but I'll show you I'll put that on it a bit later opens up really simple the Bushbox XL titanium is 490 grams and costs around 130 pounds compared to the steel version which weighs 800 grams and costs around 90 its fold away design is amazingly efficient with an ashtray and bottom plate that drop down and hinge points in the middle we think for the size and weight it's probably ideal for two to three people or solo trips if weight isn't as big a concern with woods obviously you've just got a big feed area here nice big enough so this is about 20 20 centimeters um, top to bottom so the top is maybe like 10 centimeters across so big enough if you want to make you can get a decent sized fire going it's got lots of air vents so you get lots of airflow so if fuel with woods just feed through here if you are wanting to use the Trangia gas burner the uh, fuel burner. These come off the back, really easily come off the back, and they just slide into the top. One on there, one on there, and it slots in perfectly with, you've got maybe like a centimeter on top, so really nice uh, distance from your pot to get a really quite uh, fast burn on. We've used, gone through loads of different stoves where with the idea of trying to get things which we can use for, for wood, for liquids and for gas. And all of them tend to have one point where they're really strong, but the other things don't fit in so well, like these maybe don't fit in so well. Um, with this bush box, they fit in perfectly. So with this one coming in, Again, you use the same. Comes under there. And that just. Slots in perfectly. So then you can attach it to your, your gas stove. Also, if you wanted to get a really, really quick burn on, like if you're just boiling. If you're just boiling stuff, boiling water, you can put the put the mess burner at the bottom. Use these little prongs on the middle, middle prongs.
have the mess burner in there. If you've got a cup that's right size for here, have that in there. You've got a nice little um, ready-made windshield, which works really good. And then this is our little practice made windshield that goes on the side. It's got some clips which clip it on there. And it works as a really, really good windshield. We've used this in um, quite bad weather, like heavy winds, and it does um, a pretty decent job. It's one of these bits of kit where um, it's just enjoyable to use. It's really enjoyable to use. Even friends which are into camping and bushcrafty stuff, I try and show them it and tell them about it, and even they're like, that's really fucking cool. What makes it easy to use? Uh, so it just, like, these, I think the measurements make a huge difference because there's so many bits of uh, stoves where it works well, works well with one fuel type, but then the other ones just don't really work. Or once you've used it for like a few months, it warps and it bends and it doesn't um, fit so well. But this, just as soon as you, and it's, and it's packed away and it's just so small, you can slip it into the back of your backpack. Uh, it's German made, so Bushcraft Essentials in German, and it kind of like, very stereotypically of just like it's really efficient it's really durable it's really reliable um, and looks fucking cool too um, we've not had breakfast so we are gonna get a fire on and um, I can pass it over to Sarah to tell you what she thinks about it yeah we cook sounds good to me What are we now, boss? We are having a sort of tofu scramble type dish. We're going to have tofu scramble, some mushrooms, some spinach, and some bread. So we are using the Trangia 25 L pots. So without any mushrooms or tofu in, one really easily fits inside the other. And they fit really well, the big and the small one, perfectly sort of on top and are quite stable as you can see. So that's the bigger one. And then this is the smaller one. Again, fits really, really well. Now the flames have dropped a little bit. So as the main master chef of tours, <laughs> how do you find cooking on it? Mm, yeah, really good. A big thing um, for me is stability because in the summertime it's not so important as you can see sort of cooking out in the open. but in the winter we often cook in the tent because it's quite cold and wet and when you've got sort of like wind bellowing in through the tent and you've got quite an uneven stove it makes me quite nervous to have like a big pot of like boiling bubbling water or curry or whatever we're cooking sort of moving and swaying with all our synthetic materials around but you so, find this is okay yeah this i find really stable really secure sort of when it is really windy like cooking in the tent with it and also the pot staying on top because sometimes when we're quite hungry I like to fill the bowl to the top full of food so it's quite good to know that it will stay put and it's not a risk of falling on the floor because that would be a disaster especially with hangry Josh hanging around. Don't know what she's talking about. So with this size of like the feeding mouth, feeding mouth, feeding hole, <laughs> um, it's what it's about that big? <laughs> it's about how big? That big? It's about that big. How big are your hands? I think it's about two inches. Two inches. No, maybe 2.5 inches. A good compromise between being able to feed it and not letting too much wind through as well. Yeah. Cool, now there's not much room in there. <laughs> Chef and comedian of tours. <laughs> Okay, so what about negative points? Um, I think it can let some wind through. So when we're sort of using alternative ways of cooking, sort of with the fuel and the gas we put the windshield on, because the whole, although it's good for fire, can make it very breezy. And um, there are more stable stoves, sort of like the Trangia, I find more stable. It's so like if we, if we, you're just going like camping and you wanted to do some yeah, nice cooking. Yeah, if you're not trying to go so lightweight, I think there are more stable options. Um, and it is quite costly as well. It's at the upper end of the price scale when it comes to stoves.
You know, when you see those videos of dogs just before they're about to get fed and the, the owners are really teasing them and you can see the dog just salivating and dribbling on the floor. Um, yeah, I've just wiped up the puddle from my crotch. Good nom? Good nom, if I may say so myself. What do you think of the toast? Yeah. I'm calling it smoked toast, because sooty toast makes it sound <laughs> not as desirable. Fire done. That's so easy. Um, the metal cools down really quickly, and I don't think I really explained these two metal platforms which drop down. So the first one which drops, that is the ash uh, grate, which stops it going onto the floor, so it's completely solid. Stops any ash going onto the floor. And then the second one is a small grill, so it, fire stays about half an inch off the grill plate so and it really does a good job of actually collecting it through the summer because it's been so hot we've used a lid just for extra security just because um, you know don't want to start any fires but it is actually very good at doing that and I love that the metal cools down super quickly um, so we've just you know five minutes ago and now it's all and a cool to the touch. Ah. Okay, closing thoughts of the Bushbox XL Titanium. In a sentence, what do you think of it? I think it's versatile and compact and very easy to take on trips. Yeah, we've gone through loads of different stoves and for 410 grams it's pretty good where you can use wood you can use meths and you can use gas really really well mm. i think it's an um, amazing bit of kit i would recommend it to any kind of uh, backpacker hiker camper even if you just wanted a stove to take to campsites i think this is good mm -hmm. and because of how compact it is and how thin it's so easy just to sort of fit anywhere you can just slot that in the back of your um, slot that in the back of your backpack. Keep it in your car, just for you know if you want a fire. But we yeah. so we got this ahead of our international cycle trip, which mm. we've now had to delay, which sucks ass. But um, we'll be going soon, and this is the stove, uh, the stove that we're going to take with yeah, us because it is so versatile. Because we can just use any type of fuel with it. So. So I hope this has helped you mm -hmm. if you were thinking about getting a wood stove, a multi multi fuel stove. Yeah. And I think we'll put some stats in the bottom. I thought it was a good idea just to show you us actually cooking on it because it's easy just to find the stats online of the weight and the dimensions and things. But sometimes and actually, like how to use it and how easy it is to cook on is like a big thing, especially if you're like really into cooking on trips, which we are. So I hope it was helpful. Yeah, hopefully. And we will catch you on the next video. Yeah. Bye. Bye.